it's a new design and it's kind of a, a bit of a first build really we yeah, haven't it pushes in with your fingernails it does so push fine. in quite easily anyway yeah. yep so that's beautiful beautiful, yeah, beautiful. awesome we you haven't glued this in yet it's still got a bit of movement yep but i tend to just put a bit of a bit of hot glue there and a bit of hot glue underneath and just glue the back end in Okay. There's no real benefit for gluing all the way up the front. All the way in, all right. Otherwise, it's going to be hard pulling it apart yes. if you had to. If you had to. Do a little bit of tinning there. Just really quickly because it will melt the, um, the plastic underneath. Is that right, Derek? Correct. Yeah. So, yeah, be quick when you're soldering onto this distribution board. Oh, no, actually, I've, I've just super glued the board in yep. the previous times yep. and I've hammered it with the solder. It's line. been all right? Yeah. Okay. Because the board's actually made out of fiberglass. Oh, it's a bit of an insulator. Yeah. Gee, that looks really neat, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really good. I like the channels. Mm. I don't think you tinned that red wire. We were talking about retinning everything oh, that yeah, came sure. from Hobby King because it uses different solder. It, look, it's, these are not pulling serious amps. Like that, mm. at the most will pull six amps. It's yep. nothing. Okay. So you don't have to worry about big blobs of soldering connectors. That's why with this thing, JST connectors are fine. The most you're going to pull through is, at a maximum, 18 amps. Mm -hmm. And you will rarely, if ever, run this thing full throttle. It is so fast and slippery. Mm -hmm. So look at that. Look how nice that is. It's actually not too bad. It's good how it all sits under the surface mm. there. That's right. All right, so just try to get it in there as best you can. There is technically enough room in there, but... Um, you know, you may not be able to get it in there all the way, but just do your best. Yeah, Once you've got your, a fairly good fit, then just it's ready to sort of cut the lengths. Yeah, so cut your lens to about halfway across the board. Mm -hmm. Give yourself a little bit of extra. But not too much. Not too much. Not too much. Um, same with this, I'd probably go about there. Okay, and obviously all reds go to one side. Do not um, create any short circuits. Yes. Oh, the scissors are really, really nice. Very, very quick. Mm -hmm. Just do some tinning again. Oh, we're running low. Oh, I've got heaps, heaps of stuff. Probably not best to do it over your jeans. But no, no, you're going to get a hole in your jeans and no, Mrs. won't right. really like it's, it too much. It's all part of the boho chic, JB. Mm -hmm. That's looking good there, Derek. I'll give that a bit more. Mm -hmm. There you go. Very good. Very nice. Now, you get your, ideally not a screwdriver. No, right, but that's all we got. Bit sharp. Handy. But, um, then once you've soldered them, then go back and work them in. Mm -hmm. Put that in, pulling it out of the way. Helps to leave some long fingernails, yeah? That's right. <laughs> or get the wife to do it. Get the wife to do it. With her um, $400 acrylic extensions. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, so that's looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks good. Good. And just work them in. Good on your D. It's nice. There you go. And that's probably, that's a good outcome, that. Mm. Don't stress too much because yeah. um, you will crash this a lot. <laughs> it's you not going to look like that forever, no, is it? Because you want, you'll want to fly fast. There you go. Mm. Ta da! So we've managed to find a JST connector for the battery. All right. Now, trick, the trap, the trick with this little thing, given it's tight on space, you want the wires as close together. So you tin the wires and then you put a 90 degree bend in and that sticks to your distribution board. Oh, okay. So, so the closer we get to those motor wires, the less yeah. resistance we're gonna have. And the more power. All and right, more. so that's about it. It's not meant, it's 18 amps, it's not going to set the world. It's not 100 amps. It's not 100 amps, so okay. you don't have to go crazy. There you go. Nice aesthetic. So now, see how that's nice and tidy? Mm -hmm. And your wire will go over the side like that. Cool. Or over the side like that. Very nice. Take your pick. Right. You want to make sure there's 
a bit of um, support. In la later date, we might go for a nylon tie like that. Mm -hmm. Just over the side Just there. Though, because you don't want any load going yeah. back to this. Yeah, I mean, we rely on the battery ejecting on impact. Yeah. And you don't want it to pull the wires yeah. out too, yeah? That said, this is the way I've, I did it with this try for months. And yeah. It never once let go there. Okay. So. Cool. There's, there's not a lot of not a load with these JSTs. It's not far from ready, steady, go now. It's basically right. connect those. Mm -hmm. Yep. And your um and your receiver. Yep. And you're going. So what what we could do though is just is just connect that up to straight to a receiver, put some power on there and just fire up each motor one at a time. Yeah. Just to get the direction right and just to make sure uh you know if we need to resolder these wires, we, we could do that. Mm. And then we're basically ready um it's, it's almost ready to go, isn't it? It is. The, yeah. that's it's actually not it's like an hour build. You mm. just sit down and you, you take you take your time. Yeah.